Hi Year 3, it's me again. Today we are going to be adding on a number line, very similar to what we did yesterday, but instead today we are going to be using two two-digit numbers. So the first calculation I'm going to show you how to solve is 46 add 38. I'm going to draw my number line out and I'm going to put the number that I'm starting with at the start of my number line which is 46. I need to do exactly the same with my ones. I need to look and see that I've got six ones. To get to my next 10, that would be another four ones because six add four equal 10. I don't just want to add on four ones though. I want to add on eight ones. So I need to think about four add something equals eight. I know that it is four add four. It doesn't matter whether you start with the tens or the ones. I'm going to show you both ways to see if we get the same answer. This time I'm going to start doing what we did yesterday, just adding the ones. 46 add four, six add four is 10. 46 add four will take me to my next 10, which is 50. I'm then going to add my other four, 50 add 4 is going to be 54 and then I'm going to add on my 30 that I haven't added yet. I know that there's no ones over here so my ones over here aren't going to change. I know that 5 add 3 is 8 so 50 add 30 is going to be 80 and because I don't need to add on any ones I know that my 1 can be a 4. I'm now going to show you exactly the same but starting with the tens to make sure that we get the same answer because you might decide that you find one way easier than the other. Okay so I'm going to start again by drawing out my number line and starting with 46 again. I now need to add 30 on to begin with. Again, my ones don't need to change because there are no ones to add on here. So it's still going to end in a six. Four add three is seven. So 40 add 30 is 70. And because I don't change my ones, I can keep that to be a six. I'm then going to add my ones over here. 76 add four. Six add four is 10. 76 add 4 will take me to my next 10, which is going to be 80. And then I'm going to add on my other 4 that I've got. 80 add 4 is 84. So even if I start with my 10s or my 1s, I still get exactly the same answer. It doesn't matter which way you start, you should get the same answer both times. Okay. This time, our calculation is 28 add 44. So I'm going to begin by drawing out my number line and writing 28 at the start. I need to look at my ones. I've got eight ones, but I need to think about how to get to my next 10. I know that eight add two equals 10, so I can partition my four into two. I don't just want to add on two though, I want to add on four, so I know that two add two equals four. This time I'm going to do it using the ones first. 28 add two to get to 30 because eight add two is 10. 28 add two will get me to my next 10 which is 30. Add another two 30 add 2 is 32 and then adding that big jump of 4 tens, so adding 40. My ones don't need to change because I don't have any ones here so I don't need to add anything onto them. 3 add 4 is 7 so 30 add 40 is 70 and because I'm not adding any ones on I know that it's going to be 72. 
You have now got some that you can try by yourself and put them in your book. But remember, it doesn't matter whether you start with the tens or the ones first because you will get the same answer. You just need to remember the trick of looking at the ones and getting to your next ten and then thinking about how you can get to this number here. Because two would not be enough, we needed an extra two to get to that four. If you're finding it tricky still, or if you still need some further help, then remember you can email us and one of us will reply. Thank you, bye!